Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel you guys and uh, today we are going to review something Star Wars and something that I am really excited to have. I had to buy two, I could not buy one because my husband was like, okay, where's mine for my collection? As you guys know, I collect Grogu and I have changed up my room a little bit. Uh, some stuff is still in progress, so don't, don't mind this down here. So... But yes, you guys, I was able to get my hands on this new pop. And I'm sorry, I'm like trying to move my hair a bit because it is really hot in here today. I'm like burning up. It's stifling in here. But I was able to like get my hands on a new pop for my Grogu collection. And you guys, he's so freaking stinking cute. And he is going to be an Amazon exclusive. But I have seen him on Funko as well. And, but if you buy on Funko, you have to pay for that shipping. And I really didn't want to pay for the shipping. So I did Amazon and I got it the next day. So it was like so awesome to get him. You guys check it out. Fat baby, no squeezy. <laughs> looky, looky, I love it. Oh my gosh. I'm so super excited. And look, this is the series and this is what the pop should look like. And it's $6.91. We're going to get this pop out and look at it. I'm so excited for this pop. My husband's like, okay, where's mine? So I had to literally buy a second one, you guys, but that's okay. Totally worth it because this one is so cute. Oh my gosh. Now he's not squeezing um, Boba Fett. So a bubble frick so don't don't think of that which he is behind here this is just one of those um george smiths i never can say the i think it's in zillion is what they are called and i'm looking underneath as well and then i want to show you the name a little close up i'm really terrible at saying the names um sometimes so i apologize if i didn't say it correctly oh my gosh this is so cute and it's a bobblehead you guys look that baby no squeezy oh my gosh too too stinking cute you guys look oh my gosh he's so cute this is gonna go so perfect with the pops i have and i feel like no, I guess the rub is very detailed like the rest, but I just feel like they really made the little guy. Look how detailed he is. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Ah! I had to have this pop when I seen it. It was already out. I was like, oh yeah, that's mine. And they also have a pin that is like this. I needs it. I needs it in my life. So freaking stinking cute absolutely love so if you guys do have a grogu or star wars little pop collection going on i suggest you get him he's definitely worth the buy and he is only like 15 15 dollars i do believe so cute love him so so much and i do have another thing i also was going to review with you guys i have had this little guy this little droid he has been on like pre-order since last march and i got him maybe about three or four weeks ago so it's been a while since i've gotten him but it is r5 i just had to have r5 oh my gosh because r5 d4 is in the mandalorian and as you know mando does end up having him as his droid and he helps him um with defeating moth gideon and I absolutely wanted this. I'm a little, I'm a little tuffed about how Amazon um, sent it to me. The package is damaged. As you can see, it's all scraped up. And it also has the little damage at the top. Luckily, I am that kind of girl that actually is an out-of-box collector. Because I have all my little, like, um, dolls and stuff. And then my different types of little ships here. So, let me see if I can't move this so you can kind of see it. Sorry. I'm trying to show you guys. See how I have my, like, shelves now? Okay, so I want to put R5 up there. Sorry about my hand being in the way. But I want to put my R5 
um, up there with R2-D2 so that Mando and them have their droid as well. And the baby. It's the baby's droid too. Because him and Mando are a pair. So let's open it. It has a lot of tiny little pieces. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. I hope they have like little areas we can put all those little tiny pieces at. It's not coming with any instructions. It's just literally coming out of the box like so. Oh, it's not instructions. They fell out to the bottom. So let's see what it says. Really not any instructions. So I don't think these pieces are going to attach to him. I was hoping they would attach to something on him or go into little like slot areas. Oh, he's still really cool, you guys. I love a good figure, especially if it's going to be a Star Wars figure. I am so there for it. And, yeah. So, his functions so far are he does have articulation on his feet, on his arms, and his head. So, he does have a, that's two, four, five. So, that would be five points articulation that he has. And I don't see anywhere to put all those tiny little, oh boy. So I'm not sure where I would actually have all of those little tools that go to R5. But he is still really super cute and is going to look so good right here on my show. Oh my gosh, he looks so cute. I don't know if you guys can see that, but he's definitely going to go perfect in there with all the other little droids that I have. I have um, R2-D2, and I also have uh, BB-8 because they are were part of the little figures, and also they're really cool. I do want... Um, there's quite a few other ones I like to have as well. Just can't think of them off my head right now because I'm so exhausted. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm working two jobs and my brain is like, Pfft. but Dio. Dio is the other one I like to have. He is so freaking cute and they do have like a tinier one of him and one like this. So yes, I think he would be really cute to have as well. So very cool. Now I don't know what I'm going to do with all these little parts. I may not take them out because I really thought the little parts would go somewhere on him. So if that is what you are expecting as well, just know that's just not going to be the case. I mean, unless there are little compartments I don't know about. Oh, there might be. Wait a minute, you guys. There are little compartments here. Look, he opens up there. Now, he opens up there. Okay, cool. You guys, I'm just a dodo, I guess. And it looks like he also, if I can get it open, they're not very easy with nails. Maybe I shouldn't have did this with nails, but I was hoping if I press on it, it'll just like pop open. Ah, there it goes. Cool, okay, I'm just a dodo, obviously. And the little sides open as well. Let me use a tool to do this because obviously your girl is just too not awake. At least for this time around, you guys, I am naming them correctly because, you know, Makes me look like a fake fan, and I promise you guys I'm not. I'm just tired a lot lately, and when I'm tired, it's like my brain cannot compute. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. So, those little flaps, you see them? I opened them. So, I'm assuming these are going to go... You know, it, it would have been nice if they would have gave us some directions. They did not. So, I'm assuming that little bit of little pools or whatever are going to just like pop out of those little spots which is really cute as well and i'm going to actually use this too because 
girl has nails on and she cannot do this well, apparently. So it looks like it should fit six in each one of those. However, there's not really a picture that shows me how they're supposed to go. I mean, it does kind of show right there, but it really doesn't show. So let me just show what one would look like so you guys kind of have an idea. So this isn't gonna like being like a super boring video for you guys. Like, um, let's see. So I'm assuming all those little parts come out and you have six little slots. You put them in like so. He's so cute. Love him. Love that I have an R5. Um, sorry, it's just like really dusty and dirty up here and it's like kind of bugging me because it's like coming off the box. But yes, love that I have a little R5 to go with my Mando and the baby, you guys. Very cute. Very awesome. And I have now this really cute pop. Yes, you guys. Now you can tell I've already rearranged my little Star Wars area. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put at the end of this video my how I've rearranged it and what it looks like and from being over on the opposite side over here. And then I'm also going to do a video of how I'm doing my Disney uh, little bags and area too. So, but yes, you guys, what do you think? Are you going to collect both of these? And do you think they're worth the buy? A pop is always worth the buy in my, my, um, my opinion, but I especially love a good droid and a good figure for Star Wars because they do tend to, um, they tend to, after the years, um, get value. So that's kind of nice as well. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching my little, you know, Galaxy Collectors um, YouTube like you have. Show me all the support and love that you guys have. And thank you so much. And bye now. Hey, everyone. So I'm going to do a really quick, okay, please focus, a video of just how I displayed my... Um, different Grogu's and Star Wars items here and this is probably one of my favorite collections okay they're all my favorite collections I don't even know why I'm gonna lie <laughs> um, I love collecting Star Wars for sure now these are just some of the lounge of flies and you know most of those my husband bought me and right down here, just a few of the tins, the bags, my coloring stuff now these are some of the ships that are my son's ships and the couple of the figures are mine looks like mando fell over oh no mando oh no but he is really cool he came with the ship and if you guys look inside the ship yep it has one of those little bikes in it and then right here are my dolls these are really super fun to collect. I absolutely love them. I still need the Ahsoka one. And I think they came out with another one that I really would like to have on Shop Disney. Here's just some of my new emos and a few of our figures as well. Some of the figures are my sons as well. And up top, one of my bags and a couple of my little Grogu's. And then if you look over here, I put up a couple shelves that I got. I literally got those shelves from the Dollar Tree. And believe it or not, now the picture that's in the middle was $5 from Five and Below. You guys, Five and Below has some really awesome things. Here is some of my Grogu's as well. I still have my Grogu that's on my bed. I normally have him on my bed. He's my little awesome Aussie. Love him. Here's some of my stuffy Grugus. This is like my favorite of favorites of bags. Please focus. Oh, love that. And one of my favorite bags as well because it's a Yoda. Come on, focus. Sorry, my camera's not focusing. 
just these are some of my awesome really awesome bags and if you look that's the bounty collection some of them i don't have all of them i do have some pops don't mind the holes on the wall that's from taking down old stuff oh love 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 this collection my star wars collection is probably like i said it is one of my favorite ones I am still building it with finding different figures and pops and they haven't, they do have two bags that I'm still seeking. I do want the Loungefly that has the baby in the ship um, and Mando in the ship. I absolutely want that bag really bad. It's a shop Disney right now. And then it's not online. I haven't seen it online. So once it hits online, maybe I'll, I'll ask my husband what he thinks about me getting it. And then also, too, the Sherpa little um, Grogu bag. Really want it so badly. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And you all do you, boo. Do what makes you happy, even when others don't understand. Thank you so much.